Okay, today we're going to build on the law of relativity, which helps us all come to the understanding that everything is neutral, everything is relative, and that it is us who attach meaning and emotions to the experiences we go through in life. Everything is neutral, and we determine our reaction or non-reaction in each situation. It's a choice we make. We could choose to change our typical reaction to an event when someone pushes our buttons, we have a choice of how we will react or if we'll react at all. Nobody makes us sad. Nobody makes us angry. Nobody hurts us with what they say. Our reaction is determined by the choices we decide upon, which can be conscious or unconscious, but it's, a, it's still a choice. We can choose to be sad or not. We can choose to be angry or not. We can choose to be hurt by what someone else says or not. It's entirely up to us. All the power is within you. You cannot ascribe meaning to something until you compare it with another thing. You cannot label a man a man until you have seen a woman. You cannot label uh, an experience as sad unless you have experienced happiness. It is all relative. This is how this law works. On a higher level, this law shows us that life is a series of trials, tests, and initiations. We must walk through the gateways of obstacles, challenges, and hindrances and other in order, excuse me, to both experience and master our path. This all this is all a part of our human and soul's journey. Growth and development. It is the difficulties in life that test our character, our inner fortitude. And during a series of trials and tribulations allows us to cultivate strength, endurance, and wisdom. Nothing and no one is inherently good or bad. Everything is a spectrum of expression. And there is more than one perspective on any situation or challenge if you prefer less complexities, let's put it like this. We are the ones who assign meaning to things. So we can choose to regard things as bad or as happening in our favor or for a reason. Everything is neutral. And we determine the effect the event will have on us. The law of relativity helps us realize that there are multiple points of view for everything that happens to us and around us. For example, if I'm faced with a life lesson, a test, I can choose to be miserable about it and embrace a why me victim mentality. When I do that, I have no control over the situation. So I am a victim. You understand? On the other hand, I can look at the situation from a higher perspective and ask, what can I learn from this experience so it doesn't happen again <laughs> what significance is this event in my lifetime how can i gain wisdom from this occurrence right now wayne dyer wrote one of the books that changed my life it was called the power of your intention and he has a quote that says this right if you change the way that you look at things the things that you look at change. In other words, if you change your conception of yourself, you'll automatically change the world you conceive yourself in. A lot of us waste our time trying to change people when in reality, the people that we're dealing with are only messengers telling us who we really are. I guarantee if you revalue re yourself, They'll confirm the reevaluation on this timeline spectrum in the universe. All the choices currently presented to you have different outcomes on your future, a different experience or result. Just think of the movie, The Butterfly Effect, right? Relativism exists in all things. And in the end, meaning comes down to our perspective and perception. Applying this law can help us understand the tougher parts of our lives with greater compassion. 
from a higher standpoint, this principle is showing us that how we view and experience can be changed or adjusted. Like I said, it's all a matter of perception. We are inclined to compare things in our world, but in reality, everything is neutral. In your mind, you may be broke right now, but what is broke? To Jeff Bezos, $100 million might be broke. To Jay-Z, doctors and lawyers might be broke. To doctors and lawyers, somebody making burritos at Chipotle might be broke. The perception of wealth is relative to the perceiver. When you keep this law in mind, you remain conscious of the fact that there are always multiple perspectives on anything that happens to you. Trying to slip into these alternate uh, perceptions can make you more grateful of your experience and can also show you where you can make improvements in life on live timelines ahead of you. So look, please like, share, and subscribe. More videos to come by Limitless Beliefs. Peace.